Hey guys, welcome to lesson 10 of Arabic alphabet and pronunciation course. I am Mustafa Nasser and you're watching Arabic for Nuns. Today's lesson is very important as we will study the throat sounds. It's going to be somehow long, so don't give up so quickly. Get some snacks and water and enjoy. But before that, support me and subscribe my channel, activate the bell and like the video. Do it. The throat sounds are six in number. They are a or hamza, he, he, ay, kha, and gha. All of them are produced from the throat area, and many non-natives used to mix some of them in pronunciation. Today, we will learn how to differentiate between them and how to realize their differences. If we look at the throat, we will see it's divided into three main areas. The upper throat, this is the deepest point of the throat, approximately at the craig. Then the middle throat, which is a little up the craig. And finally, the lower throat. It is the beginning of the throat at the end of the mouth cavity, approximately at the glottis. By looking at these six letters, we discover that they are equally distributed throughout the entire throat. Letters A and H are produced from the upper throat. Letters H and A are produced from the middle throat. And letters H and R are coming out from the lower throat. Okay, I will start from the deepest point at the upper throat with letters A and H. Both of them have the same exit point. The first one, letter A, is just like English A sound, A. But it's not only A. This upper piece, the Hamza, it gives out the sound A. A sound. So try to repeat it many times while holding your hand at the craig, like this. E -e 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 you will feel a little disturbed here, as the sound comes from this spot. E. While the second one is equivalent to English H sound. He. He. Repeat it again while holding your hand here. He. He. Again, it's coming out from the same spot. So, I don't think there is any confusion between these two sounds, right? The first one, E, H, E, H, that's all. Now, moving to the next spot, the middle throat. It is the exit point of both letters, H and I. Both of them are unique sounds, as we mentioned previously. The first one, letter H, is just like the sound you make whenever you have a cold drink in a very sunny day. After you having the drink, you will say, ah, that's cool, right? This is the sound. H, ah, H, ah, H. Well, the second one is just like you fill your mouth with air and you're to push it out. I. Okay, the best tip to help you differentiate between these two sounds is by adding a to each sound and then stretch the sound. Look at my mouth. Hey, hey, I, I, hey. Now, I will add a sound before each one and then stretch the sound. So, it becomes ah. 
है आए लेट्स लुक एट दीज टू एग्जाम्पल्स टू क्लू यू एन टू वर्ब्स इन द बेस्ट टेंस द फर्स्ट वन हेमल मीन्स कैरिड एंड द सेकेंड वन आमल मीन्स वर्क लुक एट माई माउथ अगेन एंड प्रैक्टिस विद मे है हेमल आए आमल حمل عمل حمل عمل ح م ل ع م ل حمل عمل Okay I want to stop here with a very serious issue Many people used to confuse between these two sounds, he and he. As we mentioned in this lesson, we said that little he is coming out from the upper throat, while little he is produced from the middle throat. So practically, they have different exit points. However, many non-natives used to mix between them. We can obviously see this confusion in the most popular name in Arabic, Muhammad. Many non-natives used to spell it Muhammad with H sound instead of H sound because there is no H sound in English. It's a very unique sound. And the same issue arises again with the Arabic name Ahmed, which is spelled as Ahmed. But you better differentiate between these two sounds the first one is just like english h sound he he this one is easy while the second one is very unique he he okay now we will practice i want you to look at my mouth and start practice notice the difference we will be using the same technique that we used with the first couple he 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 robe he he robe he he robe he he robe he robe he ro ب حرب ح ر ب Now I will add a sound to each one and then I will stretch it ه ه ه ح ح ح Let's now spell the Arabic names that we mentioned before. Muhammad, Ahmed, Mahmoud, Muhammad, Ahmed, Mahmoud. The last couple we have today are letters Kh and Gh. They are coming out from the lower throat. which is at the back of the mouth cavity. Okay, the first one, letter kh, can be found in German. And we already give an analogy of this sound and snoring, as if someone who is snoring during his sleep. But the sound comes from the throat, not from the nose. Kh, kh, kh. Okay, the second one, letter gh, can also be found in German as well as French. Ra, 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 coming from 
the throat. To teach you how to produce this sound, let me introduce myself. <laughs> He's going to teach you how to produce this mysterious sound. Okay, guys, to produce this sound exactly, just get some water and, and you just keep some water at your throat here and start moving it around. You better do it, it's very helpful. <sighs> okay, let's practice these two words. Look at my mouth again and practice. Kho. Kho. Ro. Ro. Kho. Kho be. Ro. Ro be. Kho be. Ro be. Now let's stretch the sound. Kho. Ro. I hope you get some insight after my explanation today. I advise you to re-watch the video and if you still have any kind of confusion, ask me questions in the comments. I'll be there for you. Again, I separated the practice of this lesson to be in the next video. So, see you there.